Hey guys, Carla here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Evo Wing Bar Roof Rack System on our 2020 Ford Ranger. So let's go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this roof rack. Alright, so with our Ranger it not being a full-size truck, we are not really going to have a ton of bed space. So if you've got your car loaded up with people, you're ready to go, you may need some extra space. So this is where this comes in super handy. You can put on here pretty much anything like a basket, a cargo box, even your bikes or kayaks on there. So one really nice thing about having aerodynamic bars is that it's going to cut down on your wind noise and uh, it's also going to conserve some uh, fuel. Alright guys, so one thing I want to show you is the T-Track that we've got right in the middle of our bar. It allows you to slide in an accessory right here and as you can see this rubber is going to hug it so you're not going to have a lot of noise or anything in here when you have it on. Now I did want to point out that we've got our hook here is rubberized so we're not going to have to worry about our paint and I want to show you in here as well you can see this pad, this rubber pad is going to prevent any scratches. So anything that's making contact with your vehicle is going to be rubberized just like this. Alright so right here as you can see we've got a plastic sort of lock that you can use to still lock your end cap so it doesn't fall off. So it is functional, however, I do recommend picking up a four pack of the Thule One Key system so you can add extra security to your roof rack. Um, also, the bars are available in silver as well as in black. All right, so I wanna go over a couple measurements for you guys. First off, from the top of our vehicle here, top of our roof to the bottom of the crossbar, it's gonna give us about three and a half inches. And then from the same spot, from the roof to the top of the crossbar is right under four inches. So that's how much height that's gonna add to your roof. One last measurement for you that you may be wondering about is if you put a box or a cargo carrier, anything up here in the middle portion of our crossbar, you may be wondering what about the antenna. So if you can see right here, if I put this on top of it, you can see that it's gonna clear, anything on top of here is gonna clear the stationary portion of your antenna. And from the rear of our crossbar here to the portion where we make contact, we're looking at about right at 19 inches. Um, one thing I want to mention is if you do have something that's going to go past that, you can easily take this off by just unscrewing it from there. Now these bars, these aero bars, have a weight capacity of 220 pounds. However, you always want to check your owner's manual just to make sure that you're not exceeding what the manufacturer of the vehicle sells. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and show you how to get them installed. All right, so as you can see, I've got the parts laid out on the table for you. What I'm going to do is show you how to assemble it first. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our foot and our rubber pad. And as you can see, it matches the shape over here. We're just going to go ahead and push it in to click it in place. We have to apply a little pressure on it. There we go. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap our rubber coated hook and insert it right in here. So we're going to go ahead and insert it just like so until we hear a click, just like that. Now it's on there. All right, next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to flip this over so you can see how this has an opening under here. All right, one thing I want to point out to you, if you can see in here, there are two metal pieces that what we're going to do, so we want to go ahead and push on those, grab on like this. When we push, this mechanism allows for this to slide right over your bar, just like that. All right, I wanted to show you guys right here for our Ranger, the number is number 44 on the measurement on this strip underneath. So that's the number we're gonna use on both sides for our Ranger. All right, so the last thing we wanna do is put our end cap on, just like this click into place and we'll go ahead and put it on our roof. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to set this on the other side first. Make sure the hook grabs on to your door jam on the other side and then set it down just like that. 
All right guys, so to get our rear bar installed, we are going to go based off the measurement of the crossbar spread here. To get my front bar installed, what I had to do was measure seven and a quarter inches from the front edge of your windshield to right about right here where the edge of this foot pad is. All right, so the crossbar spread we're gonna measure right here from the front of the front crossbar to the front of the rear crossbar. We're gonna need about 23 and 5 eighths. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Measure again. And we're almost there. Just a little bit more. All right. So we got it right there. So with that in place, we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, now that we've got our bar in the right place, we're gonna go ahead and use our included tool to start tightening this. And you wanna alternate back and forth uh, just because these are going to get tight and move a little bit. So once we get it here to where this clamp isn't moving, and I'll show you on the other side here in just a little bit. All right, let's move on to the other side. All right, so here's what I wanted you to see. We're gonna insert our tool right in the middle here. Hold on to our bar and start tightening. We want this clamp to have no play, but not over tighten it. All right, so we're good. We're gonna move on and keep alternating back and forth. All right, so we've got our left side tightened all the way. I'll show you right here how to know when you're all the way done. So you can hear the clicks there. Just give it a couple more. All right, so here we are with our end cap. We're gonna go ahead and click it in place. I wanna show you real quick, right here is where you could get the optional locks to add extra security. This plastic piece would just come off and you can just insert your lock core right there. All right, so you can see I've got these all the way in tightened and this thing is not going anywhere. So we're ready to load up our accessories um, like a kayak carrier or a basket. Uh, but that should do it for our look at the Thule Evo roof rack on our 2020 Ford Ranger.